everybody, my name is Sam Stillman. I'm the Director of Coffee and Cafe Experience for Cafe Vita, and today I'm coming to you live from our HQ in Capitol Hill. So I'm super excited to spend some time with you. Um, today we're gonna do our first public brew school class. So let's get started. Just to tell you a little bit about my role and where we're headed as a company, um, I am in charge of everything QC from how we're sourcing our coffees to what's being put out in our cafes and what ends up in your home. So what I mean by that is I am sourcing coffees, I am tasting them for quality, I'm choosing the perfect ones that either fit in our blends or that can be showcased as a single origin option. Um, from there, I work with the roasters in developing a profile that not only highlights the coffee, um, but also highlights the blends that we create too. Today, I wanna to tell you about a little surprise we've had, and it's our new Ethiopia single origin. This Ethiopian is from the Hembela region of Ethiopia, and it was processed at the Dame Dubai washing station. This coffee was exported by the Cebu Coffee Trading Company. This exporting company has worked in the Guji region for over 20 years, helping make coffees that are produced by farmers more accessible to the market. Um, they've worked with two washing stations specifically. The first one is a Garacho, and the second is a Dame Dubai washing station, which is where this coffee came from. Their whole goal is to help provide farmers with the resources to produce these really nice, beautiful, clean coffees. Now, if you're at home, I'm going to brew on a V60 today, but you can brew on any brew method with this coffee. Heck, we have it in our cafe as espresso right now, and it's so good. Now, when we brew it as a filter coffee, or if you have a coffee pot at home, or V60, or Chemex, uh, we're gonna bring out a lot more of those florals in the coffee and those delicate tea flavors. If you don't have a V60 at home, um, I can always help with the ratios and getting that perfect cup of coffee. But the first step is having a good coffee to brew. From there, we're just gonna add water and um, see what happens. So, with the V60, the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a filter. And with this filter, we have this riveted side here. We're gonna fold along that line. Great. Now you're gonna pop open your filter, set it in the V60. Before I hopped on the show, what I did is I brought my water up to temperature. We're aiming for about 195 to 200 degrees for water temperature. And also, I've already ground my coffee. I'm gonna be doing a 20 gram dose with 320 grams of water, which puts us at about a one to 16 ratio. Um, you can use that ratio for your coffee pot at home too. Um, one to 16, so let's say you put 40 grams of coffee in, multiply that by 16, and that gives you the amount of water you should add to your coffee pot. You can do it by volume, but weight is gonna give you the ultimate consistency. And if you need access to a scale, hit us up, check out our website, because we have all those things listed on there to help you brew great coffee. So I have 20 grams weighed out. I have it ground to about, kind of like a sea salt coarseness. If it's missing flavor, then you're gonna grind it a little finer. If um, it tastes a little bitter and kind of sludgy, then you wanna coarsen up the grind a little bit. Now it's gonna require um, playing around a little bit, and I think that's the fun part of doing this. So, let's start with this. First thing you wanna do is wet your filter. When you're wetting your filter, what you're doing is you're getting rid of all the paper flavor that would end up in your cup. You're essentially rinsing it of all that paper flavor. Now, if you want to um, see what I mean, remove your uh, V60 and just smell the water. It smells like paper. It's pretty gross. Um, so I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna dump my water. We'll come back. Okay, so now I'm going to add my coffee. And when you add your coffee and you're using a scale, go ahead and tear the scale so you can check the weight of the coffee. Sometimes a grinder will hold back some weight. Uh, so we just wanna make sure we get all the coffee we need. After that, we're gonna give it a little jostle just to make sure the coffee bed is even. 
This will set us up for success so we can achieve an even extraction. So I'm gonna tear my scale out, get my timer ready, and let's start brewing. The first pour that I'm gonna do is twice the weight of the amount of coffee I use. So I'm gonna do a 40 gram bloom. And what's a bloom? A bloom is where we're adding just a little bit of water to wet all of the grounds so it can start releasing the gases. Um, coffee holds all this gas inside, so when water hits it, that gas wants to escape. And we wanna make sure that we give it the chance to escape uh, before we dump all the water on. So now my second pour, I'm gonna go ahead and move in a spiral motion, starting in the center, pouring slowly and controlled. And I'm gonna bring the weight to 120 grams. Perfect. Now I think in increments of 100 grams. So I'm gonna let this settle. My goal is that um, the depth of the water in the brew stays pretty consistent. So I wanna always kind of be pouring, um, but I don't wanna pour so much water that my V60 is full. So now I'm gonna go in for that next pour, aiming for 100 grams. Um, try your hardest to not run water on the side of the filter because the water will channel and miss all the coffee. We want all the water to land on the coffee so it can extract fully. So each one, I just give it a second to really um, just let the water settle down and trickle down. But I never want the grounds to be exposed. I always want the grounds to be um, submerged in water. And I never want the water to come above to the rim of the V60. We'll do our final pour here, bringing it to 320 grams. Perfect. Now as this does its final drawdown, uh, let's talk about the variables of brewing. So a lot was happening here. Uh, there's so much to unpack in the brewing process uh, that's important to have a good understanding so you know what to control when you're brewing. When we talk about the variables of brewing, we talk about first is the water temperature, uh, the quality of water that you're using, uh, the grind size, the finer the grind, it increases the extraction rate. The coarser the grind, it decreases the extraction rate. Uh, the next is a ratio of coffee to water. We're using a one to 16 ratio. Outside of that is any kind of agitation that you add to your brew. Uh, I'm a fan of just avoiding agitation altogether unless I know the coffee is super dense that it needs that extra extraction. Uh, I'm not one, I'm, I'm not, I don't do yoga. So like this is my yoga in the morning. I wanna like slow everything down, really move with delicate motions. Um, don't just dump water on, move slowly and gracefully and take a deep breath in between. Sometimes it's easy to forget about breathing. So we wanna take a deep breath. Let's go ahead and taste this coffee. I like to swirl it just because when you're brewing, uh, there's certain components that are more dense than others that um, create separation. So we just want to make sure everything is completely combined. Taste the coffee and see what flavors are here. I'm a weirdo when it comes to tasting coffee. I hate hot coffee. I like it to cool down so I can taste everything. When the coffee is super hot, it um, changes the perception of what you're actually experiencing, so you don't get the full experience. So I start with a little bit in my cup, kind of swirl it around, give it a chance to cool down. Let's taste it now. Great, so I mean, the flavors I get in here, I get Meyer lemon, raspberry, and this nice black tea, delicate, um, kind of herbal thing going on. I'm really excited that, yes, this Ethiopian being here is super exciting for me, but also that we have a lineup of coffees that are gonna be launching over the next couple months. So excited to share those with you. Uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns with brewing. Um, outside of that, I'll see you at the next PBS.